got all-wheel drive, anti-lock brakes. And it feels like this sled's made out of PVC pipe. It's really flexible. And it's hard to keep your balance. And step on that brake to keep them from going too fast. Oh boy. Back in February of 2015, I had the opportunity to head up to the Great White North, Canada, with the uh, Brothers of Bushcraft, Norseman, and Robert from Practical Survival, and Caleb from Canadian Bushcraft, and go dog sledding. And while we all had dogs, and we all had sleds, I'd say that my experience was a bit different than the rest of the guys. Let's compare some footage, shall we? Let's look at the video that Norseman put together, and then we'll see how it stacks up against the footage from the camera on top of my head. I know, like twice as many. <laughs> okay, I'll walk some more. <laughs> Come on. You're supposed to be pulling me. Come on, guys. We can do this. Hence the term, my dogs are tired. These poor guys had to pull me up that hill, kind of. Oh, need more dogs. It's kind of like driving a Prius. Doggies. So those are all the guys. But they like to get in here. Hey you, I remember you. 
shoot and pull my sled. I'm exhausted. My poor dogs, they they gave up trying to haul me a long time ago. I had to push just to, just to get back. And currently there's a dog putting her nose in my butt crack. I hope she enjoys it. What? Oh, now one's on the front. They're friendly. <laughs> oh, you smelled the sandwich in my pocket. That's what she smells. I got that Subway in my pocket. She's like, I want the Subway. No, you can't have the Subway. I know. It smells good, doesn't it? But it's mine. Oh. <sighs>